Hey everybody, this video is going to go over supination and pronation of the foot. Um, people seem to have more problems with this than supination or pronation of the hand. I'm going to try and make it easy for you to remember and uh, try to understand what's going on here. Uh, the first position we'll go through is supination. Now supination, just like with uh, supination of the hand, you kind of have the mnemonic of you know, you're know you eating soups, so that's how you remember supination of the hand. I remember uh, supination of the foot just kind of with a similar mnemonic. I imagine that there's a big pool of really hot soup and I want to dip my toe in it to see how hot it is. And uh, kind of the easiest way to remember it is it's kind of like a uh, dancer, like a ballet dancer pointing their toe. So it's going to be plantar flexion, where your foot's going to go from neutral and plantar flex down, and then it's going to invert or point medially. So you're really trying to point that toe. So the bottom of my foot is facing medially towards the middle of my body. And that's supination. So I'm pointing my toe like a ballet dancer trying to touch that hot water, that hot soup, and to see how hot it is down there. Now the uh, opposite of that is pronation. For pronation, you're going to dorsiflex your foot, or you're going to bend it back towards you, and it's going to have an everted flare, so it's going to be facing laterally, or towards the outside of my body, and that's a pronated foot. So again, supination is down and in, or facing inwards, inversion, and pronation is up and out. Um, you think this might be high or low yield, excuse me, but I've had two questions on... Uh, you know what a supinated foot looks like so supination just remember like soup hot soup you want to touch it with just your toe like a ballet dancer you're gonna pronate or excuse me you're gonna plantar flex and invert that foot so that you have this pointed foot and you can really touch and feel uh, how hot that is and that's supination and then you can just kind of uh, deduce what uh, the opposite would be pronation. And that's supination and pronation of the foot thanks